What's going on everybody? Peter Martin here for Two Minute Jazz. I want to talk to you about patterns, which is a little bit of a dirty word for me, but there I said it. But I want to talk to you about how we can play patterns without them sounding like patterns. Um, now a pattern is anything that's repeated. It could be... It could be... Anything that you repeat and move around. There's a famous one. Those kind of things. And then you would repeat it. So how do we play them? Because actually patterns in art and music and nature are very uh, important. And they form a great foundation for some of our great improvisations. So. I was kind of playing around on, on Someday My Prince Will Come. I get to this D flat diminished a little bit of a problematic chord for many of you so that's a place where sometimes we'll take a pattern where we'll take an easy phrase and then repeat it so like if you go so we're just going up the diminished whole half I guess it is in broken minor thirds a little triplet thing. That's fine, but it sounds a little corny. And then especially if we keep moving it into that C minor. So if I go. I mean, it's all right, but not great. So there's some little things we can do though. So there I'm just, I'm a little out of time. We'll pull it back into time, but I'm going up the scale, the diminish, but then I start going chromatic and kind of change up the time also. So if I start out triplet, so. It, it makes it a little more organic. It makes it more like, you know, you'd sing it or something. Although it'd be a heck of a singer to be able to do that. But, but harmonically and melodically, That chromaticism really kind of adds something, I think, nice. That kind of a thing. Other things you can do is, is to keep the same interval, but then change direction. And do it in a kind of random and organic way. You hear I'm going uh, top, top down, top down. Okay, as opposed to just and if you combine that with the chromatic then it sounds like it's not a pattern but it actually is all right have fun with that happy practicing